this church Come experience Come experience Come experience the Lord for yourself You can find yourself in a mess and then all of a sudden discover that you attract to you what you are. Now, if you attract to you what you are, then the next thing you know, because what you are has become messy, then messy people begin to congregate in your life because, again, you attract to you what you are. I might stop right there because if you didn't shout, you ought to tweet that for somebody else to shout because somebody came. You've been trying to figure out why is it that certain people keep coming into your life. Don't forget, you attract exactly who you are. And with that being the case, my brothers and sisters, there again are those of us. We've made a mess of things. And again, don't think that this sermon is not hitting you because my Bible says all have messed and come short of the glory of God. That's the Freddie Haynes remix. And so all of us have made a mess of things. All of us have done some stuff that we'd like to take back. Others of us find ourselves in a mess, have given up because the mess is so messy that we can't do anything to clean up the mess. Some folk are in mess but have been in mess so long they don't know that it is a mess and so they learn to function in their mess and then others find themselves in mess that has been institutionally imputed onto them by outside circumstances and or people. I'll give it to you like this. I'm reading a book right now that really I, I, I'm excited about by one of my favorite heroes. The book is the memoir of Harry Belafonte. It's entitled My Song. I highly recommend the book. And in the book My Song, Belafonte shares something that blew me away. He talks about how when he was just a kid, four years of age, that Harry Belafonte's mother had worked hard to buy him a tricycle for his fourth Christmas. And so so he receives the bicycle gladly and one day his father who was in and out of their lives is now in at this moment and while in at the moment he decides to take little Harry to the park and there in the park with the tricycle he becomes engrossed in a conversation with someone else while holding on to the handlebars of little Harry but the conversation became so animated there up on 145th Street there in New York and all of a sudden in this park watch what happened the conversation between Harry who's Harry's dad Harry just four years old the dad is engrossed in conversation with someone else and all of a sudden to make a point has to motion with his hands that meant you got it that all of a sudden he took his hands off the handlebars of the tricycle the tricycle begins to rush down the hill and when it's rushing down the hill what can little Harry do but begin to pedal as fast as possible trying to keep up with the rotation of the wheels and the pedals that's what he's doing but then he hears his father calling him by name and running after him Harry panics and begins to pedal even faster trying to get away from his father until his father catches up to him grabs him off of the tricycle and then in a rage begins to take a stick from a bush and beat him and he beats him and beats him until blood begins to ooze through his clothes. It's the blood that arrests the attention of his father knowing he had gone too far and his father then tells Harry, you can't tell your mother what happened. Here's what you do. When you get home, tell your mother that you were in a fight with one some of the kids in the area and the kids 
beat you up and I came and rescued you trying to show himself as the hero that he was not trying to act like a hero though he was a zero and what happened at is that he gets home and Harry or on the way home watch this Harry is crying and while Harry is crying they pass this store and in the store there is a toy boat that Harry had seen several weeks before and the father said I know you want that boat here's what you do if you go ahead and tell your mother the lie I told you I will get you that boat Harry goes along with the story and when he gets home lies to his mother who is really disbelieving because you know mothers know women have that intuition but she goes ahead and cleans him up and here's what happened my brothers and sisters years later Harry needs his life fixed because he is engaged in a series of dysfunctional acts and has had a series of dysfunctional relationships and so he recognizes the need to talk to somebody and Harry testifies in my song that he's speaking with his psychiatrist and going through therapeutic sessions and the therapist is told this story by Harry check out what the therapist says or what Harry says to conclude the story he says and I never got that toy boat to which the therapist responded are you still hoping to get that boat and Harry breaks down crying recognizing he is experiencing what psychologists call an aha moment of awareness aha that's a part of my problem I was hurt in the past and I'm still hoping for something that ain't never coming I, I gotta stop right there and talk to somebody because I don't know who you are but all of us have a past all of us have something that happened back then that is ordering our steps right now and if you are not careful you will find yourself in a mess and making a mess because of some mess that happened back then that is still messing with you right now preach for the hands you know I am and with that being the case my brothers and sisters every now and then we make a mess of things but then at the same time we can find ourselves in a mess I read about former ambassador from the United States to Italy her name was Claire Luce and when Claire moved into her Italian villa check out what happened she moves in it is freshly painted there are beautiful flowers on the ceiling and the wall and Claire after about two months begins to get very sick she goes to the doctor they can't find they cannot ascertain what it is that is wrong with her but she is sick and sluggish and things are slowly getting worse they then discover that she had been poisoned she was poisoned they're trying to figure out was it the food no it was not food because they have tested all of the food and then my brothers and sisters somebody had the brilliant idea to check out the apartment or the villa where she was living it was then they discovered there was arsenic lead in the paint on the flowers on the ceiling and wall that created an atmosphere that was toxic and unhealthy now I gotta back up because when Claire moved in on the surface she talked about how good the apartment looked when Claire moved in she was excited because of what she saw and every now and then you can move in with somebody because of what you see and what you see will end up making you sick because you don't get beyond what you see to the sickness that's behind what you see. Everything that shines ain't silver. All that's pretty ain't platinum. All that glitters ain't gold. You can't get hung up just on what you see because you may get sick because of what you can't see. Preach, pretty Haynes. I think I already am. Friendship West Baptist Church.